Hi. Now in this example, we've got to prove that sec squared theta plus cot squared theta is identical to tan squared theta plus cosec squared theta. So how are we going to do this? Well, I'm going to take the left-hand side of this identity and show that it's going to be identical to the right-hand side. So we start off in the usual way by writing proof. And I'm going to copy down the left-hand side. And you might want to write LHS for the left-hand side or just copy it down. I'm going to go for copying it down, OK? So I just like the look of it from that point of view rather than writing LHS. OK, but that's up to you. I've taken this, and what's this identical to? Well, we can't accept that it's identical to this, so don't go writing that down, OK? We need to prove it. So I'm looking for identities that have got these functions in and look as if they head towards these functions. And those identities that you should be familiar with are essentially these two here. They come from the identity sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is identical to 1. If you divide this through by sine squared theta, you'd get 1 plus cot squared theta is identical to cosec squared theta. And if you took this top identity and divided it through by cos squared theta, you get tan squared theta plus 1 is identical to sec squared theta. So you should be familiar with these, OK? And this is a fairly straightforward example because all you've got to do is take the sec squared theta and you can see that sec squared theta is identical to tan squared theta plus 1. So we could write that in place of sec squared theta. That is tan squared theta plus 1. Or obviously 1 plus tan squared theta. It's up to you. It's the same thing. So sec squared theta is tan squared theta plus 1. Now what about cot squared theta? Well, cot squared theta if we go to this identity and rearrange it by subtracting 1 from both sides, can you see that therefore you would have cot squared theta is identical to cosec squared theta minus 1. So in place of this cot squared theta, I can now say that it's equivalent to cosec squared theta minus 1. So we have plus cosec squared theta minus 1. And if I simplify this, I can see that 1, take away 1 is 0, so I'm just left with tan squared theta plus cosec squared theta. So that goes underneath here. Don't forget the identical sign, and we've got tan squared theta plus cosec squared theta. And that's how you set out this identity. As I said earlier, some of you might have written LHS in that position rather than copying that out. And if you did do that, you'd go through the same stages here. But I would encourage you to write at the end is identical to RHS, the right hand side. All right? OK, so I'll take that out for now because that's not the style that I adopted here. So. There you have it. And I hope that uh, gives you some idea how to do and set out an identity.